You'll never guess where we are today. Welcome to the Essen Motor Show 2018. I reckon they'd fit nicely on my push bike. The motorsport season is finished now, and as a team boss, we expect you to be off, but there's plenty going on here in Essen as far as motorsport is concerned. There is indeed, and as for holiday, chance would be a fine thing. Actually, we'll carry on working right through the winter. We're already well into 2019 in terms of planning. Franz Simon from Simon Motorsport. Your stand's looking great too, some really cool machines. What are you up to? Basically, we're showing people what we're all about. We do software optimization, chip tuning, that kind of thing. Let's go and have a look at what you're doing. Let's go. This machine now has 720 horsepower instead of the 570 it officially used to have. KW coilover suspension, nicely polished too. It's an homage to GT4. This year was also the first season for the Audi Sport Seifert R8 LMS Cup. Tobias, you know all about it. How did the first season go? Yeah, given it all came together at short notice, we were pretty satisfied with the first season. So it will definitely continue. What's the plan? I know there will be 18 to 20 cars, which is a huge growth. Well, we'll definitely be back on the supporting card for the DTM. So you've already got appointments for the next year. In that case, why is it so important for you to be here at the show? I think we just have to be here, really. Of course, it's very important for our sponsors that we have a presence, and we also need to promote the championship. That's why we come back every year. Let's play the game if I were you. Do you know it? No, but I don't like where this is going. Well, look around in here, and if I see something I want you to do, I'll say, if I were you, then I would do this. And you have to do it. Well, Vicky, my dear, if I were you, I'd ask somebody on this stand, preferably the boss, what this new VW Beetle here is all about. I've just seen the new VW Beetle. I've never seen one like that before. The ones I know have all got this rounded roof. A friend of mine has the convertible, but this one looks a bit, well, more sporty. Have they changed anything? Is this Herbie telling us he wants to race again? No, something just fell on the roof and stretched it all out a bit. Did you straighten it out again yourselves? I don't see any dents. Of course, it's all in a day's work for us. Ingo has a really cool car on the stand. It used to be a G-Class, and it still is, sort of, but you've done some work on it. It's a G-Class 4x4, so it's a limited edition. It has about 500 horsepower now, and the really special thing about it, as you can see just now, is this foil wrapping, if you like. It's not just sparkly foil, those are real stones. They are individually stuck to the car by hand, so it's really painstaking work. Is it legal for the road like that? I would think so, yeah. So how much do you want for it? This one here would set you back about a quarter of a million euros. I would say that's the end of this interview. Thank you very much. We'd better move on. Franz, if I were you, I would go up to one of the people working here and tell them something about rims, something totally wrong. Hi. Hello. I'm Umid Geza from Wheel World. This is our exclusive Axion brand. No limits. But that's not exclusive at all. I reckon everyone's got a set of those. Well, everyone's maybe stretching it. There are a few people trying it. But what about square ones? We've got some of them. Square, not round? Square ones? Well, yes, I suppose. What do you think about square rims? They tell me it's the future. Right. I think that's enough nonsense, don't you? An official partner of the Racing Point Force India Formula One team and of the Hockenheim Ring, Ravenol had a busy year and saw F1 return to Hockenheim, and it'll be back next year. What was going on at Hockenheim? 
Well, I think we delivered a good show in 2018, which I think impressed the race organizers and the people who organized the rest of the Grand Prix too. And they felt they could rely on us to stage the German Grand Prix again in 2019, with support from Mercedes-Benz. Of course, we're delighted about that. We've started promoting it, and tickets are on sale already. The numbers are looking promising. Ravenol will be there too. Make sure you get your tickets, because last year sold out. Some of Ravenol's products are also on sale here at the Motor Show. You probably know most of them, but some might be new to you. Tell us about the new products. The new ones are the ones with the USVO technology. USVO technology provides very high viscosity stability at all temperatures and for all applications. For you and me, that basically means better protection for the engine, more performance, and longer intervals between oil changes. So it's worth checking out. You can really do your car a favor by coming here. I can take one more. Antifreeze, too. After all, it's worth looking after your car, isn't it? That was worth a visit. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll all tune in next time to find out whether I'm still alive. Bye!